palm olive soap. Have you had your sprinkles today? Hi guys, it's me. What a second, I've got to turn my... Okay, I had to listen. I'm having some mic problems <laughs> and um, it makes a hideous sound. You might hear something that sounds like a motor running in the background. <laughs> That's not hideous compared to the hideousness that it can and sometimes does make. I listened. To, did you see that? I listened to the microphone. <laughs> okay. Let me listen to the other side. Okay. I'm deaf in one ear and one side of the, the headphones doesn't make a sound and the other does to me. And... Um, kind of weird. Hi guys, it's me. I went in because I felt like a loser and uh, brushed my hair and put some makeup on. But I barely brushed my hair. But I did put a little bit of makeup on. Which isn't going to hurt anything. I gotta go get my sis um, in a few couple of hours. Well, she gets off at two, so I'll try that. And this drink is like, I got it on the off diet day and didn't drink at all. Dr drank about like two thirds of it probably. And closed it up because I didn't drink at all before diet day started the next day. So I did that and now I'm just finishing it up. So it's a three day old drink. <laughs> um, Sue asked me. Um, about the diet, uh, had she missed something, and yeah, I'm, I'm, Sue, I'm working on a diet, and it sounds really weird, and it sounds like a gimmick, but I'm telling you, it is working, um, clothes are fitting, uh, better, or there's actually a couple of pair of pants I'm gonna have to get rid of, yay, um, but, and also from, the sides just looking in the mirror I'm getting a silhouette instead of blob so it, it's coming and it's very slow but this diet is meant to be very slow to give your skin a chance to reform and to it just works um, my brother-in-law did it was on it so it, it's five hundred dollars five hundred dollars five hundred calories one day that's all you can have no more than five hundred calories and then the next day, you can eat normally. Now, I don't think if you normally eat a whole pizza that three times a day, that that's going to be normally eating. You know what I mean? But um, normally eating the next day and then back to 500 the next. So it's 500, eat normal, 500, eat normal, like that. And I thought, okay, 500, I can do that. That's pretty good. That's that's not too bad. Yeah, whatever. It's hard to fit. I mean, most fruits that you get, even a small one's 100 calories. So, um, yeah, it's really hard. You can't, you kind of want to save 300 for dinner. And, I, and I've been thinking about it. I probably should have my big meal in the middle of the day so that the, the, in the evening it's not a huge whatever. But there's a couple of schools of thought on that. You need your to sleep well during the night. You need some food on your stomach so that you don't wake up and go, I'm hungry. I, I don't know. I don't know. But right now what I'm doing is... Um, sometimes a little something in the morning sometimes I give up um, actual food food to have my cappuccino I do um, and mine's like a, a instant cappuccino mix from Hills Brothers caramel toffee and it's like for three teaspoons of that stuff it's like 120 calories so it's not like I'm I think I'd have to go back and look been a while since I've given up food for for the cappuccino but I've done it so I'd have to go back and look but yeah I, I, I made it last like 
almost five minutes telling you about my 500 calorie diet. Um, but that's what I'm working on and we are seeing differences. I mean, Uncle Cece's jeans look like, I don't know, a flock of geese moved out of or something. They look, yeah, they're, it's, it's getting to the hilarious point. So, but <coughs> he's lost some in his waist. And that's why he's not wanting to get rid of them, because he hasn't lost enough in the waist to get rid of them. But he's lost enough in his thighs and his buttocks that, yeah, good wind caught him and he would just go. But, <laughs> and that's the same with me. I'm losing in my faniole region. And when you're young, that's a good thing. When you're older, your fanny's flat, starts flattening out, so you kind of go to the no-butt stage, but then everything above the waist is, uh, hello, bam, there you are. But below the waist is like, okay, that's kind of strange. So my thighs are getting smaller. My... I am losing some in different places, but the last place that I lose it is in my chest. And used to be chest was the first place that I would lose it, but not anymore. Uh, but right at, you know, this top part of my body, that's where I store a lot of it. Not to say I'm not fat in other places, but um, also my belly in the front. That's a, that's a pain in the butt place. Um, so anyway, I don't want this whole video to be about the diet. Uh, the diet's kind of a add into, except for today, I guess. So anyway, um, today is one of my favorite kinds of days. It's overcast and it's chilly outside. It's like 53. They say it's going to get up to the 70s. It's 11:25 right now. We'll see. And then for the next few days. I think the high is going to be in the 60s, and the low is going to vary, 27, 32, it's going to be below freezing for the next few days, so, yeah, I know, some people get the winter doldrums, I don't, I get excited, I like winter, winter's my time of the year, I'm okay if I'm in the house in the air conditioning, but winter, I love it, but I have to tell you, this year, and a little bit last year, I was cooler in the winter time than I ever have been. Uh, hello, Grace. <laughs> she decided to drop in. But, um, but I found that I've gotten a little bit colder. And, guys, I used to go outside in icy weather without a coat on. And be like, okay, I'll go start the truck up for Uncle Cece. And get it warmed up and I I didn't have a coat on sometimes I would have on long pajama pants but sometimes depending on how warm Uncle Cece had the house I might be in shorts and I could go out in the cold weather in a pair of shorts and stand out there for quite some time and be fine I can't do that anymore I get cold, it's cold to the bone so um, I, don't, I don't know what's up with that I guess my blood's thinning. I guess that's what it is. So, uh, there, we have no plans for today. I don't know if I lost track of something, if I was going to tell you guys something. And I got started on some stupid story and then kind of lost it in the end. I don't know, so I'm moving on. <laughs> we, we have nothing planned. Grace is fucking up. She's fucking the crap out of me. <laughs> she In the cold weather, she wants to snuggle, too. So, she's waiting for me to lift my arm, because she wants right there. She wants right there, see? <laughs> uh, that crazy cat. What was I saying? We have nothing planned. I think that's what I was saying. 
we have nothing planned for the weekend. Lindsay was going to come, and the kids, and uh, a friend's coming into town unexpectedly, so she changed plans on us. Uh, uh, our landlord's supposed to come. <coughs> well, he's going to try to come in the month of November to redo the bathroom. But it was looking like, just from what he was saying about his schedule and stuff, that every time I, the wind blows some trees, leaves wiggle, I, I have to look up better. But, um, from what he was saying about his schedule and stuff, it looked to us like it would be Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of this week would be the only time he would have, unless he put it off again until between Thanksgiving and Christmas. So, I was kind of expecting him to show up today, but... So far, unless he shows up tomorrow, thinking it's going to be a two-day job. I don't know why every time something Google up like that. But, so, we're waiting to see about the bathroom. But, oh, no, no. Um, I started on Christmas a little bit. My sister is almost finished with Christmas for her two, her two children, which is the most important. She gets kids out of the way first, and that's who I worked on. I got Jay a little bit of something. Um, I got the whole family something together, but that's it. I mean, it's very little Christmas. I did find two bags of Halloween candy yesterday on sale, and... Um, I've been very good. I've been very good. This morning, I ate two pieces of candy. So, and there's a little snake sign, which are enormously stopped with calories, but it's just a little small. So, anyway, guys, I got that, and it's sequestered away, and we'll see if it makes it to Christmas for stocking for the community stuff, but actually we got it for us. Uh, but I, I have no doubt. So, we'll see. Uh, let me see. I made, and I don't have it to show you right now, I'll show you in tomorrow's video, hopefully, if I remember, I made one of Tammy Yo-Yo Max's you only like 12 uh, Polish stars, and I love it. I love them. So, I think I'm going to be making some of those to either attach to Christmas presents or to use as a Christmas present. I don't know. But they, they really turn out really cute, and they are easy. I mean, the rolling, if you've seen a video, the rolling of it, you might think, oh, well, I never had any luck with that kind of rolling. It really, you do exactly what she does in it. She's good at uh, videos showing you how to use. She's good at how to use. She's good at a lot of things. But, um, I love your Polish star, Thank you. So, I guess that's, that's all I have to say. Oh, I never told you guys about jury duty. I don't think. So, I'm going to tell you. And then I'm not going to tell it anymore. But, I got called for jury duty. I called the night before to check in. They say I wasn't on the list of names, so I didn't have to go to jury duty. And then, um, like a week later, I got another letter in the mail and calling me to jury duty. And that was the week that I was with the kids. Well, that week, let me see. I was with the kids for a week, and then I was going to have to go home on Sunday to be there for jury duty on Monday. So I called Sunday um, and found out that I did not have to be on jury duty then either. Uh, they canceled the case, so I didn't have to be on jury duty. So that ended my jury duty tenure for at least this year. So I'm excited about that. I was very excited. So I ended up staying another few days, and it worked out really nicely because um, the kids were all half a day of school on that Tuesday and she had no one to watch or take care of them, pick them up, whatever. She didn't have that 
So I was able to stay, you know, till Wednesday. And that worked out wonderful. So, um, yay, no jury duty. I don't care. I don't like it. 